Welcome to the Logistic Lowdown. I'm Lance Corporal Lynette Diorio and I'm here to update you on what the Royal Logistic Corps have been up to over the past few months. First up, 17 Port and Maritime, Joint Helicopter Support Squadron and Commando Logistics Support Squadron who have been in the Caribbean. They are working hard to support those affected by Hurricanes Maria and Imra that devastated islands in the region. Members of the regiment who are serving on board Royal Navy support vessels have been providing aid to the islands which include food, water and personnel as well as medical support, sanitation and temporary shelter. Next up, soldiers from 7th Regiment have just completed their six month United Nations peacekeeping tour in Cyprus. Their mission was to maintain the peace by patrolling the buffer zone that separates the Turkish forces in the north and the Greek Cypriot forces in the south. The 250 strong deployment, which includes both regular and reserve soldiers, received the United Nations Medal on their return, which were presented by Her Royal Highness, the Princess Royal, who is the Colonel-in-Chief of the Royal Logistic Corps. Staying with all things royal, three regiments have now completed their first round of public duties. It saw members of the regiment carrying out duties at Buckingham Palace, St James Palace, the Tower of London and Windsor Castle. Don't worry if you miss them, as they will be returning for a second round later next year. Now, we would like to give a big well done to Cambrian Patrol Coordinator, Captain Tim Tucker, on a very successful patrol competition. More than a thousand competitors, including 30 international armies, descended on the Black Mountains of Wales. The teams had a really tough challenge on the 70k route and were continually hampered by the 50 mile per hour gust from the tail end of Hurricane Ophelia. We also want to congratulate 10 Queen's Own Gurkha Logistic Regiment on their silver award, 151 Regiment and 9 Regiment on their certificates. Lastly, we would also like to congratulate all of the winners from this year's Royal Logistic Corps Sports Awards. Look forward to the next Logistic Lowdown to keep up with everything RLC.